Hello everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to create the classic filter suite using Loy's powerful built-in instruments and audio effects. This will be coming up as part of week 6 on the 10 week Ableton course. So we start here by right clicking and insert MIDI track. Come over onto the Live Devices browser, open up your instruments folder and bring the analog in on top of that MIDI channel. Click on any rectangle to bring up your MIDI roll. Click again on any rectangle to draw on a MIDI note. Drag that MIDI note out to the end. You'll see there that that clip has now been created. If you come down to the analog section, turn off oscillator 1. Turn on your noise section. Bring your color of the noise up to 22 kilohertz. Come across then onto your amplifier section. Bring the sustain up to full. You see that going up there on the graph. And bring your release down to about 150 or so. Come up then onto your filter section and turn on filter 1. Change that from low pass 12 to band pass 12. Bring up your resonance to about 30% or so. Now what I'm going to do here is MIDI map the frequency on that filter onto my MIDI controller. There's more coming up on MIDI mapping in week 7 of the Ableton Live course. So I'll just give you a quick listen to how that sounds there. You can hear that classic filter sweep there now. So what we're going to do is go onto Ableton's audio effects to shape that a little bit more. So we'll start by adding an EQ3. Double click on that there. Turn off your lows and bring your frequency low to about 150. We'll come up and we'll add in the compressor. On the compressor you see a small triangle there. Click on that and that will open up the side chain section. Turn your side chain on. Audio input from your kick drum. There'll be more on side chain and coming up on week 10 of the Ableton Live course. Bring your threshold down completely and bring your ratio up to infinity. So I'll just give you a quick listen to how that sounds there. You can hear that side chain sucking the filter sweep there. Now what I'm going to do here is add Ableton's ping pong delay. Bring the feedback on the delay down to about 32, 33% and the dry wet down to about 29, 30%. You can move this filter around to suit yourselves. So I'll just give you a quick listen to that there with the extra delay on it. So you can hear that classic filter sweep there. So what we can do at this stage lads is Add all your instruments and effects together as a group. So press Command and up if you're on a Mac and Control and up if you're on a PC. Highlight them all, right click and press Group. If you come over here and open up the macro sections, you see this little floppy disk here. Click on that and type in the name. So I'll just put in Filter Sweep here. Now, with that saved there, I can drag this out at any stage and this rack will come up. There'll be more coming up on instrument racks in week 8 of the Ableton Live course. So I'll just give you a quick listen so you can see how the filter sweep will blend into a track that you've already created.
can hear there, lads, that that works well with build-ups and breakdowns. So that's the filter sweep there. This will be coming up on week six of the 10-week Ableton live course. I hope to see you all on the course soon, lads. Thanks for watching the video.